Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for leaving my baby shower early and causing a scene? I'm 32, been married to my husband, also 32 for 7 years, and we're expecting our second child. We already have a daughter, Anne, who's 6, and she has epilepsy. She's had one seizure before, which will come up later in the story. Now, to be real, my Amaya is just the worst. From day one she's been throwing shade at me, backhanded compliments, insults about my looks, and, oh yeah, trying to set my husband up with other women. The last time we were at her place she actually said she could make him a Tinder account or set him up with the daughter of her best friend. Like, really? My husband's told her to stop, but he doesn't push beyond that. Spoiler, she never stops. So, when it came time to plan my baby shower, I told my husband I didn't want her there. His response? Well, since you're not letting my mom be in the delivery room with you, you have to invite her to the shower, you should be grateful you're getting one at all. Oh, and by the way, he wouldn't even be at the shower because he had something at work. Yeah, things were already off to a great start. The shower itself was going well until M.I.L. decided to make the comment. I was happily sharing with everyone that we're having another girl and out of nowhere, M.I.L. goes, while another girl let's hope she's not like her sister. I asked what she meant and she straight up says, we don't need another disease in the family. Imagine seeing a newborn baby drop to the floor and shake everywhere, it's embarrassing. I was stunned at first like, did she really just say that? And then the pregnancy hormones hit hard and I started bawling. Full on ugly crying. I couldn't stay there so my mom took me home. When I got home my husband was there, which was weird since he was supposed to be at work. But instead of comforting me, the first thing out of his mouth was, where are all the gifts, you know how expensive baby stuff is right? I couldn't believe it. Of all things, he was worried about gifts. I locked myself in our bedroom, unable to deal with him. About ten minutes later, he knocks and says he got a text from his mom explaining what went down. He tells me that I caused a scene and should just be happy I got to hang out with friends. I tried to explain how hurtful her comment was how she insulted both our daughter and our unborn baby, and he had the audacity to say, well, Anne's epilepsy meds aren't cheap, so I see where she's coming from, you just took it the wrong way, you owe her an apology. That was it for me, I packed a bag and called my mom to come pick me up. I've been staying at her place ever since. She's also picking it up from school, while my husband and his entire family have been blowing up my phone, calling me a drama queen and worse. So now I'm here asking, AITA. First off, let me clear something up about my username. My friend, the one who hosted the baby shower, suggested it as a joke. I'm not, and my friend feels really bad if we made anyone worry. Now, on to what happened. A lot of you were talking about how abusive my husband is, and honestly, I didn't even realize it. I always thought abuse had to be physical, so this whole emotional abuse thing hit me hard. I met up with him at a public cafe so there wouldn't be any drama. I brought up the divorce, and this is how the conversation went. Husband, so, just because some random people on the internet told you to, you're gonna divorce me? Me, it's not just a few people, it's thousands. Husband, who cares, you don't even know them. Me, well you don't know the chefs at restaurants, but you trust them to cook your food. Husband. Shut the fuck up. Me, it's not my fault you always run to mommy and pick her over your daughter. Husband, I don't give a fuck about you or your opinion, you fucking bitch. After that, he stormed out of the cafe. Oh, and don't worry, I emptied our joint bank account and took anything valuable before meeting him. Gotta protect myself, right? But wait, it gets juicier. After the cafe scene, my Ifeo called me, which was weird because we barely talk. He apologized on behalf of M.I.L. and then dropped a bombshell. Apparently, M.I.L. has hated me from the start because I stole my husband from some woman named Melissa. Turns out my husband was cheating on me with her the whole time. Yup, that's why he wasn't at work on the day of the shower. He and Melissa were hooking up in our bed. Ifeo felt guilty about keeping this from me, so he finally spilled the beans. M.I.L. of course knew about it the whole time. It gets worse, Emile's been telling everyone that I went off on her at the baby shower, because she was wearing a better dress than me. She even claimed I threw food and drinks at her. Like, 
Come on. Fael even joked that she'd probably hang another picture of herself in their living room any day now. I laughed, thanked him for telling me, and said I need space. I've got a lawyer handling the divorce stuff, so I'll keep you all posted. Apparently, after my soon-to-be ex left the cafe, he went to a bar and got super drunk. He ended up assaulting the bartender, then got into it with the cops when they showed up. Now he's facing charges. He had the nerve to ask me to bail him out. I just laughed and hung up. Of course, he called his mommy and she came to the rescue. This whole situation might actually help me in court, since I'm fighting for full custody of Anne. One of my friends works in the legal field, so she's helping me out big time. Anne's been asking a lot of questions, and I'm planning to sit her down and explain everything tonight. She's really mature for her age, but I'm worried about how all this will affect her. Edit, for the people saying this is fake, believe what you want. I'm going through a lot right now, and I don't have time to convince you. But to everyone who's been kind, thank you. Your support means the world to me. Comment. Koya Gnome. I know this may seem like an empty compliment. I'm really proud of you, and the control you're taking for you and your children's lives. They have a strong woman setting examples for them, and they will be better humans because of it. Cold Sea Wench. I would take my babies and run far away from everyone in that family. Honestly, even the FIL, even though he came through in the end, but he let all of that happen that entire time without doing something about it. By doing something, I mean giving advice to his son to be better than he was. MIL and X should both be in jail or a psych ward. You basically told him he was abusing you, and he gaslit you to think the internet was manipulating you. I cannot. I know I just summed it all up all over again lol, but I said all that to say how brave you are, how wonderful you are, to have recognized and ran from the situation. That you didn't just put up with it and allow any further harm to come to you. And how sad I am that you have to deal with all of this while pregnant. Stay strong. Just like you are. Mary E.F. Reenly. Op make sure M.I.L. and dumbass X don't know what hospital you give birth in. Make sure the staff knows neither of them are allowed near you or your baby. I'd have trusted people come to the hospital to ensure they're kept away if it somehow leaks where you are. They're the kind of people who'd try to force their way in. I also hope you're in an at-fault state, so you can claim infidelity as the cause. Burn all bridges. Maybe ask your Fayel to write it down for you, his statement. Sounds like he's a decent man. Thanks for watching till the end, wishing you an awesome day, feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share, I'd love to hear from you.